Pacific Division battle starts and ends in Los Angeles, where the Clippers and Lakers will see who the top dog is in the City of Angels. The Lakers' moves this out season were astounding. They acquired Steve Nash in a sign-and-trade deal from Phoenix on the 4th of July, and then topped it by getting Dwight Howard late in the offseason. That threesome, along with Kobe Bryant, could be the best threesome in the NBA this season. But you wonder about chemistry. Steve Nash is a great player, a Hall of Fame point guard who needs the basketball. Kobe Bryant is a great player, a Hall of Fame talent who needs the basketball. How are they going to have, share the basketball together? They're going to play the Princeton offense some, but is that going to devolve into Kobe Bryant taking shots with the shot clock on his back? I'm not sure how that's all going to work out. If it works out, though, the Lakers are the favorites to come out of the Western Conference. The Clippers, though, will have a lot to say about that. Chris Paul did indeed change the culture with the Clippers, and they bring back a very talented, very athletic team. We know that they can do Lob City and all that, but what they have to do is show they can play half-court basketball and get stops when they need to down the stretch. And bringing in Grant Hill, even at age 39, is something that's going to help them in that endeavor. It was a terrific pickup. He's a guy that can still guard the league's elite wing players all by himself with, with very little help. So they should be an interesting piece to the puzzle. The Suns are a complete rebuild now. They brought in uh, Goran Dragic from Houston on a free agent deal. They acquired Michael Beasley for Minnesota in a trade. They drafted uh, Kendall Marshall. They have a lot of pieces, but I don't know what kind of team they have right now. And I don't know that Alvin Gentry knows what kind of team they're going to have. Golden State, if they're healthy, could be a team on the rise. They do have some very good pieces with Klay Thompson and Steph Curry in the backcourt. And Andrew Bogut is a top 10 center in this league when he's healthy. Emphasis on when he's healthy. Bogut may not be ready for the start of the regular season as he recovers from his ankle injury. And Steph Curry is supposedly going to be ready for the start of camp. We'll see. Curry and Bogut have to be healthy for Golden State to have any chance to make a move in the Pacific Division. Although getting Harrison Barnes with the seventh pick was a great value pick for the Warriors. The Kings are in complete disarray. We do not know where they'll be after this season or who will own them after this season. It's a team that's in flux. It's a team that's uh, really a walking recipe for disaster at this point. Uh, they do have some talent. DeMarcus Cousins is a talented player, and Tariq Evans is a talented guy. And Isaiah Thomas had a great rookie season. And I do think they're going to get an awful lot out of their first-round pick, Thomas Robinson. But with the future of this team unsettled, it's hard to see how they can concentrate on basketball this year.